Welcome to one more video on concepts. In this video, we'll be seeing how to tackle problems on mixture and allegation. Let us try to understand the concept of mixture with an example. Our example is a shopkeeper has two varieties of wheat with him. One of them costs rupees C1 per kg while the other costs rupees C2 per kg. The shopkeeper mixes them in the ratio A is to B. What will be the price of the mixture per kg? So here in this question, we have to find the price of the mixture of two varieties of wheat per kg. Let's see how we go about doing this question. Let the price of mixture per kg, which we have to find here, be rupees C. And this price C will be weighted average of the prices of the two varieties of wheat which are given in the question. Now what is weighted average? C will be given by A multiplied by C1 plus B multiplied by C2 divided by A plus B. You can call this as your first. And in first, if we just rearrange the terms, on rearranging the terms, we can get this as A by B is equal to C2 minus C over C minus C1. This formula which we have obtained here leads us to a very important concept. And that concept is the concept of allegation. Concept of allegation gives us the relationship between price and quantity of various types of an item in a mixture. And this is the formula which we obtain. Quantity of cheaper item divided by quantity of dearer item is equal to price of dearer item minus average price of mixture divided by Average price of mixture minus price of cheaper item. This is a very important formula which you should memorize for solving questions on mixtures and allegations. Let's take an example. Here we have two salt solutions. They have concentrations of 15% and 40%. And it is being asked in the question in what ratio should they be mixed to get a solution of concentration 30%? This sounds to be a real interesting question. Why don't you try it yourself? Let's see this problem in light of this formula which we have learned here. And what we have to find here is in what ratio should the salt solutions be mixed to get a concentration of 30%. So, in other words, what we have to find here is quantity of cheaper item divided by quantity of dearer item. This is what we have to find. And the next question which comes into our mind is what is the cheaper item and what is the dearer item here? So the mixture with the higher concentration of the salt solution will be the dearer item and the mixture with lesser concentration of the salt solution will be the cheaper item here. So 40% here will act like the price of the dearer item and 15% will act as the price of the cheaper item. And this 30% which is the resultant concentration of the mixture when we mixed two salt solutions will act like average price of the mixture. Now the question becomes very easy. So this value which we have to find here will be equal to price of the dearer item and we've already said price of the dearer item will be 40 percentage minus average price of mixture which will be 30 here. Divided by average price of mixture, that is 30% minus price of the cheaper item and price of cheaper item here is 15%. So this will be equal to 40 minus 30 is 10, we know. 
30 minus 15 is 15. So this will be 2 by 3. Therefore, the ratio in which the salt solutions should be mixed is 2 is to 3. Let's take one more example of the same concept. In this example, it says there are 400 students in a class of mathematics. Average age of girls is 10 years and average age of boys is 11 years. Find the number of girls in the class. So this is what we have to find here. Number of girls in the class. And average age of all students is 10 years and 9 months. So this is also given. This sounds to be a real interesting problem. So before you look at the solution, you should pause the video and try to solve this question on your own. Once again, let's analyze the given problem in terms of this formula which we have learned. So according to this formula, the price of the dearer item, and in this case we are not talking in terms of price, we are talking in terms of age. And in the given question, average age of boys is more than the average age of girls. So boys here will be the dearer item. So we can say the boys will be the dearer item only in terms of the question though. And girls here will be the cheaper item. And price of the dearer item that is boys will be the average age of the boys that is 11 years. So this will be 11. Average price of mixture means average age of the group. So that is given to be 10 years and 9 months. So this is 10 years and 9 months. Once again, average price of the mixture is, that is the average age of the group, 10 years and 9 months. Minus price of the cheaper variety, that means the average age of girls, which is given to be 10 years here. So this will be 10. So this implies, that means here this will signify number of girls upon quantity of the dearer item that will signify number of boys will be equal to 11 minus 10 years and 9 months so we can simplify this this will be 11 minus 10 years and 9 months over 10 9 by 12 minus 10 so we can simplify this using these steps so finally, we will get this equal to 1 by 3. So number of girls divided by number of boys is 1 by 3. This implies here ratio of girls is to boys is equal to 1 is to 3. So what this means is that if we say that number of girls is x, the number of boys will be 3x and the total, that means x plus 3x, 4x will be equal to the total number of students. And total number of students is given as 400. So this implies x is equal to 400 by 4. That is equal to 100. So 100 is the number of girls in the group. Let's take one more example. Here we have some part of a sugar solution which contains 40% of sugar is replaced with another sugar solution which contains 19% of sugar. Part of the sugar in the new mixture becomes 26%. What fraction of the original sugar solution was replaced with another sugar solution? So this we have to find here. 
what fraction of original sugar solution was replaced with another sugar solution. Once again, let's analyze this problem in light of this formula which we have learned. And here, the dearer item will be that item in which percentage of sugar is more and the cheaper item will be that item in which percentage of sugar is less. So, price of the dearer item will be 40% and average price of mixture will be strength of the mixture when two types of sugar solution are mixed. So, that will be 26%. This will also be 26%. Six percent minus price of the cheaper item. So the cheaper item will be the solution in which percentage of sugar is less. So that will be 19 percent. So this implies on application of the formula quantity of 19 percent solution by quantity of 40 percent solution will be 40 minus 26 over 26 minus 19. So that will be equal to 40 minus 26 is 14 and 26 minus 9 is 7. So this is 2 by 1. So what this means is, what this means is that if we consider in the final solution, we have three parts, then two parts are of 19% solution and one part is of 40% solution. This implies Quantity of 19% solution is equal to 2 by 3 of the total solution. And this is the quantity which was replaced in the original solution. So this gives us our answer. 2 by third of original solution was replaced. So let's take question number 4. There are a total of 50 coins of 1 rupee and 50 paise in a bag. So in a bag we have total of 50 coins out of which some are of 1 rupee denomination and others are of 50 paise denomination. Total value of the coins in the bag is rupees 35. What we have to find here, what is the number of 50 paise coins in the bag? Once again, going back to the base formula here and here, the dearer item will be rupees 1 coins and the cheaper item will be 50 paisa coins and from the question average price of mixture here rupees 35 which is given will act as the average price of the mixture and price of the dearer items that means price of rupee 1 coins will be if we suppose that all coins were of rupee 1 and we also know that there is a total of 50 coins then all the coins will add up to rupees 50 and the price of the cheaper item will be, here we will suppose that if all the coins were of 50 paisa each, then all 50 coins of 50 paisa each will add up to 
fifty multiplied by fifty paisa, that will be rupees twenty-five. And this, of course, is rupees thirty-five. So this implies quantity of cheaper item, that is, number of fifty paisa coins over quantity of dearer item, that is, number of rupee one coins is equal to fifty minus thirty five over thirty five minus twenty five that is equal to fifty minus thirty five is fifteen over ten so that will be equal to three by two so if we consider that total number of paths is equal to 5 then 3 paths are 50 paisa coins and 2 paths are 1 rupee coins so that means number of 50 paisa coins will be 3 by 5 of the total number of coins that was 50 so this gives 30.